on the same axis, sketch the curves with y is equal to x plus 3, x minus 1, x minus 4, and y is 3 over x. And the solutions are to the equation x plus 3, x minus 1, x minus 4, minus 3 over x is equal to 0. So here we have a cubic, and here we have a reciprocal function. So draw a set of axes. Again, these won't be to scale. We'll label this x and y. So for the cubic, x plus 3, x minus 1, x minus 4, x axis y is equal to 0, which means that x plus 3, x minus 1, x minus 4 is equal to 0. This is going to give me x is minus 3, x is 1, and x is 4. Plot those points on, roughly in the right place. And then for the y axis, x is equal to 0, so we're going to have 3 times minus 1 times minus 4. 3 times minus 1 times minus 4. Minus 1 times minus 4 gives me plus 4. 4 times 3 gives me 12. So mark on the point 0, 12. It only needs to be roughly right. The scale here is going to be different to the scale here. Considering uh, the most dominant part, which is x cubed, x times x times x, when x goes to minus infinity, y goes to minus infinity, so if x goes to minus infinity, y goes to minus infinity, so it starts down here. When x goes to plus infinity, y will go to plus infinity, so when plus infinity, uh, y will go up here, so the graph will start up here, so the graph will come up here, go slightly higher than 12, come back down through 1, a minimum there, and up here. So draw my curve, label at one end. The reciprocal function you sh we should know is going to be like this, uh, like this. Now, just one sort of uh, problem is, does it actually cut this, this graph here at some point here? Well, if we put 1 in, 3 divided by 1 is going to give me 3. So, at, so it, it's going to be above this uh, curve at this particular point at 1. So using that information, draw the curve. Okay, so we've got y is 3 over x there. Right, drawing out again. Consider uh, x plus what, 3, x minus 1, x minus 4, minus 3 over x is equal to 0. If we add 3 over x to both sides, we get x plus 3, x minus 1, x minus 4 is equal to 3 over x. This is the point of intersection of this curve with this curve. So this is the intersection of the two curves. The points of intersection are the ones here in orange, this one here, and this one here. We can count two of them. We know it won't cut over here, because what I said, if you do uh, three divided by one, it's going to be three. And that one, this curve is actually equal, the cube is actually equal to zero. So therefore, it will be above at this particular point. And therefore, there are two solutions to the equation. This has a, been a video to show you how to do a cubic and a reciprocal function and look at the number of solutions of a given equation using the graphs. I hope you understood, and I thank you very much for watching.